Good afternoon, my name is Ahir Abbas, a first year medical student all at the University of Central Lancashire. Can I come from your full name and date of birth, please? Yes, Nicola Hilton, and I'm from the birth of Lancashire. Nicola, Nick, Nicky, what's Nick your preference? Nick is fine. Nick is fine, thank you. Nick, how old are you now? 24. 24. Uh, Nick, my understanding is uh, you gave us a blood test earlier on, and uh, the blood result has come back. Uh, there's nothing to be alarmed about, but it suggests that you may have a little bit of a clot in your blood, okay? So to address that and prevent any further complications from that, uh, I'm, I'm proposing we're admin administering uh, an agent that will break down that clot. Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. Now, it's an injection. Are you okay with needles? Mm -hmm. Lovely. The injection, uh, rather than it going into your muscle, is actually going to go just beneath the skin. It's what we call a subcut injection, subcutaneous injection. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to administer it just in the wall of the stomach here. Is that okay? Yeah. Lovely. Um, can you just confirm you know drug allergies? No. Lovely. A um, couple of risks or some risk associated with the injectable procedure, as with any injectable procedure, a bit of pain, might have a local reaction over the area, perhaps a bit of an allergy over that part, a bit of bruising, and sometimes there is also a risk that the actual procedure might not work. Okay. Um, should we come across any of these hurdles, we can address those under the situation. Is that okay, okay with you? Yeah. Um, any, um, any pain at the moment? No. And uh, are you on any blood thinners or any yeah. medications? Grand. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly get everything ready and I'll be right back with the medications. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Lovely. Great, Thank you. So, in the tray first. clean the tray rather so we could have treat tool wash my hands and then clean the tray and then I'll done some PPE Give them a short spin. Yes, I've got short spin just behind me on the wall. Okay, so in terms of medication, um, I'm going to check the date on all of my equipment, the expiry date. Because it's a subcutaneous injection, we're going to use the orange needle. So there's an alcohol wipe. I'm going to place that. In my tray ready for me to use the medication itself check the medication check the dose check the date check for any contamination and tampering of the actual um, uh, packaging or any sedimentation of which there is none so that will go there and then i've got my syringe so again i'm going to be careful not to touch the areas of the syringe which are going to come together so opening it from the back and in equal fashion Opening my drawing needle from the back and that way preserving all of that. So that goes directly on there. And there's the packaging. And then what I can do is I can draw three mules, is what it suggests over here of this agent. So I'm going to draw three mules of this. And I'm going to dispose of this straight in the, directly into the short spin. And then once again, because it's a subcutaneous injection, it's the orange needle. If it was an intramuscular injection, it would be the blue needle. The way to remember this is we cut an orange, hence sub, hence subcut. So subcut, cutting an orange. And there's the medications, all prescribed, all ready, and prized to free meal which is what the drug chart suggests. Okay, so everything is there. There's the rest of the medications, and now I'll take them across to Nicola. Hello again, Nikki. Hello again. Sorry about the wait. That's okay. Um, okay, so uh, just confirm for me again your full name and date of birth, if you will, please. Nicola Hilton, and I'm from 99. Lovely, and just confirm you have no drug allergies? No. No drug allergies. 
And uh, just to run it again, it's, it's an anticoagulant agent that I'm going to give you. This is um, Tinzapari and, and it comes in a number of doses. So I've calculated that as per the prescription chart. So I'm going to check as per the prescription chart, the right drug, the right dose, the time that we're giving this medication, the route, which is intramuscular, uh, and the date uh, on which we gave them that's today and I'm going to document all of that information on the actual drug chart or in the patient's uh, notes. I'm also going to document that it was a, an aseptic technique used and the site where I'm going to inject. Just before I actually go ahead and inject and clean the area, what we're going to do is we're going to remind ourselves uh, a, an intramuscular injection will be such that it'll go in at 90 degrees and what you'll do is you'll, you'll, play, you'll, you'll press down on the actual uh, surface of the skin uh, once it's been cleaned of course and sterilized and then you're going to separate your two fingers apart so as to create the gap and, and then you're going to go in at 90 degrees whereas when we do a subcut injection we're going to pinch the actual surface surface uh, soft tissue uh, once again it's been cleaned and sterilized and then we're actually going to go in at 45 degrees not 90 degrees and because it's originally really smaller it'll only reach the subcutaneous region when we inject we'll aspirate before we actually inject so as to ensure there is no aspirate, no blood in the area. If there is any blood in the area, we need to reposition the needle. And before we do that, we may need to press and hold the area for the best part of about 30 seconds, so as to ensure it doesn't continue to bleed and allows a clot formation. Okay, Nicola, sorry about that. So I'm just going to, would you mind if you just expose the area? So just any part of the stomach, wherever you're happy for me. Um, um, yeah, if you, if you wouldn't mind, that'd probably be easier. Okay. Can you just expose the stomach? Let's just show the wall and do a clean it. Clean it. So when I clean the area, uh, I'm going to go in circles from the centre point, and we're going to move outwards in a circumferential uh, manner, and not going over the same area for the best part of ten seconds. So we'll a good clean, and then we're going to leave it uh, to dry for the best part of thirty seconds. Unsheath the needle, and as I said, we're going to pinch the the thing and then we'll inject. So you'll feel a sharp scratch coming up, Nicola. And in we go. I will aspirate first. There's no aspirate here, and I'm happy to actually move in. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And that was the injection. So I'll just put the safety cap on my needle here, and just place that nose over the area for me. Just press and hold that there for me, if you will. And I'll dispose of the, um, the needle directly in the sharp screen. And that's the end of the station. Nicola, how are you feeling? Yeah. Good. So, um, again, as I said earlier, sometimes there's a bit of an allergic reaction, just need, need to be mindful of that. Uh, I think that should be okay. That's yeah. Always. So thank you. Check it's not bleeding. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, and you can sit up again. Thank you very much. You can yourself. Um, if, in the unlikely event, you start to become or feel unwell over the next 24 to 48 hours, you can either come straight back to me or you can contact your GP. Is that okay? Yeah. Any questions? No. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. I will now dispose of the PP and I'll wash my hands just before we come to um, Okay, thank you Nicola. That's okay.